So Nvidia just released the DLSS 4.5 version in beta. I'm going to show you, first of all, how to activate it. And after that, which one you should use depending on your GPU, because it can affect your FPS a lot. Also, they will probably uh, release it really soon on the official driver. So if you want to wait, you can. And if something change or we have more information that can help, I will probably do a second video. But I did a couple of testing with that and I'm pretty confident of what I'm going to say. So first of all, go to setting and about and make sure that you opt in to access beta or experience to experimental feature. Normally in the graphics section in my previous guide, I was telling you guys go to global setting and just put latest everywhere. So you're going to make sure that you're using the frame gen, super resolution, area reconstruction, the latest one. The thing is, depending on your GPU, you can expect a huge impact on your FPS. You're going to lose a lot of FPS with DLSS 4.5. So I did a couple of average, so RTX 2000 and 3000, you can expect like a, a big drop in your FPS, but for 4000 series and 5000 series, it's three to 5%, it's not that bad. And it also it's when you, I compare the same mode versus the K preset. So for example, K versus M at performance, you do the comparison. My recommendation is, if you have an RTX 2000 and 3000 series, just stay with preset K and I'm going to show you how to do that and select quality or balance mode. Quality, honestly, 1080p, make sure that you're using that one because lower than this, the game looks very blurry. If you're playing 1440p or 4K, balance can be good if you need those FPS. For 4000 and 5000 series, I'm really impressed with the preset M, so the new DLSS 4.5. This one is optimized for performance, and also you have the preset L that is optimized with ultra performance, but I'm not a huge fan of it, so my recommendation right now, 4000 and 5000 series, go with M. It's better than my K at quality. Uh, if you're playing fast-paced game also, it's a lot better with ghosting and stuff like that, so really really huge improvement over there and if i compare my k at quality versus my m at performance i can expect like 10 to 12 percent boost in my fps so technically you have an impact when you come you compare performance to performance but honestly preset k at performance it's not that good so this one is a huge improvement and that's why i'm recommending to using it so how can we do this we're gonna go back to your nvidia so first of all, if you have a 2000 or a 3000 series, I recommend to just lock in your preset K and press apply because if you're using latest, it can push uh, the, um, the preset M, the preset L. You don't want that. Always make sure that you're using K. And also, if you want, you can, uh, in the DLSS override, make sure that you always use quality or balance so the uh, driver of nvidia will always push that one if you don't want to do that you can also say use 3d app settings so when you will launch your game you just select the mode that you want to use inside of the game and by the way all those programs are technically compatible with it so that's pretty good and now you can do it globally if you want to do it game by game you can also do it over there now if you want the newest uh, model we're gonna go there we're gonna select m apply and i really recommend to make sure that you always use performant and apply you don't want to change that inside of the game because the preset m is optimized for performance so do it like this so each time that your game will be compatible to the dlss you will always push the latest preset with the latest uh override with your nvidia app so this is pretty much it for now, guys. If we have more update or more uh, improvement with future patch with the new model, I will uh, keep you updated with new video. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.